Yeah, that, that's very possible, Courtney, because Mike Rinch is in the house from Knifeware. Welcome to BT. Hi, thank you. Yay. You're going to be spending the next you, nine days you. here at the Sip and Saver tent doing knife demos. You're going to teach all of us how to be samurais in the kitchen. I will admit, I always watch you guys in awe. I am dying to have the kind of the precision. Uh, there's a danger to what you do. Yeah, we live on the edge. You do. Oh, God, that was punny, wasn't it? <laughs> right. It's okay. It's okay. You're keeping us sharp, Mike. We, we are. We're, oh. I'll, I'll show, let me show you a couple things. I can tell you a couple things about knives, but what the most important thing about these knives is they're all from Japan, and Japanese knives are awesome. They stay sharper for a longer time because <laughs> they make them with harder steel. Okay. That's the basic part, right? Okay. They're thinner blades and they have a finer angle too, which just means they're sharper. Okay. Right. So you've got three items out, the potato, the green onion, and the pepper. Yeah, Why yeah, don't yeah. We get, What's the first demo? I want to show you how to cut a pepper like the really smart way. A lot of times you take a pepper, you cut it in half down the middle, you put your knife down, you get your hand in there and you scoop it out and little seeds fly out all over your cutting board. This is a much better way. I also find that when I cut a pepper, I lose half the pepper. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, you end right. up like losing exactly. good pepper part. And you got those hooks on the side. Yeah. See, see how, like, here, try this. Cut the top off. Okay. Me? Yeah, really? Yeah, just slide it. Okay. Hey, Mike, how much oh. would a knife like this cost for people who are curious? Uh, that oh. knife's about 250 200 bucks. bucks. 250 oh. bucks. Oh. A, we have a great selection and a big <laughs> price range, though. Yeah. So, right, that goes away. These two, still usable. Right, you want to get this out in the middle here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. One slice, turn it over. Just like filleting a fish almost. Exactly. And you're not getting all the white sort of icky part that makes all you look All the bitter ah. stuff, yeah. All the seeds are gone. Look at that. Okay. And now? There you have it. And that can just be chunked up too, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The green onions. What, did this, what does this allow you to show? Well, <laughs> green onions, I think, are a really delicious vegetable. And so many times, people will take them and they'll cut them straight across. So they get these little rings. Right. And I think they're so sad. I think, <laughs> I think that they'd be so much more proud if they had more attitude, right? How, but so... So look at that. That just looks like a little little green onion, but right? But these look like the green onion cakes that I usually do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if you did this? We're just going to do one. Oh, oh yeah. I see huh? what you're talking about. That about like. gives you like the lemongrass look. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like in a salad, it can actually represent itself. Stand tall yeah, with yeah, the yeah. other veggies. You got to let it, let it be proud. Yeah. The lowly green onion. <laughs> Loud and <Okay>. proud. <laughs> right? All right. Now the potato. Is this the one where you throw it up in the air and then slice it in half? Yeah, sure, here. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Put the knife in your teeth. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like it. What no, does I the just potato let you demo? I just want to show off. Okay. So, if you have something around, you want to cut something smoothly, you cut a flat side on it so it doesn't roll around as much. I just want to, this is a brand new knife. This thing is ridiculous. It's like, it's it's so like butter. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, and it, like, it's going to stay this way quite a long time. So that's, you know, one of the big benefits of kitchen knives. But I just want to now just you've see. got your name, like you are using your, your fingertips as almost a, a, a barrier, a ridge to yeah. sort of balance yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's just like a little guard. And these are going to be pan seared or cooked in butter, fried like a, super quick, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are absolutely. potato chips, basically, homemade. This, this is like, this is how you make scalloped potatoes, the like oh, fancy man. style. Mike Grinch was. from Knifeware, an amazing job. Mike's going to be down Red here Mike. each and every day at the Sip and Savor tent at Taste of Edmonton. Hey, Mike, as we go to break, can you take a look at this camera right here? Can you show us the proper way to grip a knife? I just want to see the proper grip. First thing you do is you hold the knife where it's balanced. Yeah. So it shouldn't tip too far forward or too far backwards. Holding it in the balance spot, it's like knife yoga. You okay. have more control. <laughs> and then that gives you the pinch of I thumb and forefinger. Amazing. Tuck work. your fingers in behind. Knife yoga. Mi Namaste. 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 <laughs> we'll be back with more right after this BT at Churchill Square, day one of Taste of Edmonton.